Uh, thank you all for coming. Let me begin by uh, reminding people to put their cell phones on vibrate uh, if, if they can. Always useful. <coughs> I got up so early this morning to get here by 7.30 that I left mine home. I completely forgot it. Uh, we're going to be talking today, <coughs> as it says here, about strategies for molecular diagnostic companies. And uh, this, this is what we'll be covering today. We've got uh, who we are, uh, historic context for diagnostic companies, that is, what the past has been like, especially uh, before 2000 and the uh, advent of genomics. Uh, <coughs> then we'll spend a fair amount of time on how the new science, we think, will have effects and create new markets. Then we have a break. Uh, we will have a break at 10 o'clock because that's when the sound people have to change things. Uh, then we'll go into uh, new diagnostic company models, which, we, which really gets to the meat of what we're talking about. The first part is, is background and uh, context setting, but this is, uh, these things, these two items will, are where we're really gonna get into the strategy part. One will be on new models and how to think about them, and the other is uh, specific actions available to you if you are running a molecular diagnostics company. <coughs> uh, we want this to be as interactive as possible, so we are hoping that uh, you'll interrupt us. Keith certainly will. We interrupt each other. Uh, but we hope you'll, if you've got questions, if you have comments, if you disagree with some of the things we're saying, please speak up. We're really uh, anxious to hear from you. So <coughs> a little bit of introduction. Who's Genomic Healthcare Strategies? Well, we started the company about five years ago, and we are, whoop, wrong button. We are a high-level strategy and operations company, and we work generally for large and small companies. We work at the C-level, uh, uh, at the chief executive officer, chief financial officer, chief marketing officer level. Uh, as you'll see, uh, we have senior staff only, uh, not a bunch of juniors who we have to feed and since we've built companies and run companies, uh, we, we can really have a good dialogue with, with C-level people and understand their problems uh, and understand how they have to look forward. We have a strong focus on the changes happening now and in the future that result from the new science of molecular medicine. That's really been our focus from day one. When we started the company, we knew that changes were gonna come to the markets and to the practice of medicine and the economics of healthcare. But the bet we made was that these changes were gonna happen soon rather than later. And we are pleased that they're happening sooner. We spend a lot of time not just consulting, but we're interested in these issues. We try to write and think about them. Uh, we like to think that we are uh, thought leaders We've had articles in Nature Biotech, uh, Personalized Medicine, the Future Medicine Journal, uh, Expert Review of Diagnostics, and other publications. 